Amen. Amen. We, we thank you tonight, dear God, for this time that we have together. We give you praise, dear God, for such an electricity in the atmosphere. And dear God, such a unity amongst the saints. You said in your word Amen. that we come together in unity, dear God, that we will see the commanded blessing. And so tonight we give you praise for the commanded blessing. Abrahamic, dear God, anointed upon this upon this live tonight. We join together in faith. We thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 On tonight, we are just going to give you guys an update on where we are and what we're doing. We're so excited um, to uh, just be a, able to be a part of what we're doing and, and putting this thing on for God. We, Those of you should probably know by now, maybe uh, last week sometime, um, Bishop Matthews and I was talking, just having a conversation. And within that conversation, we was talking about how we have to be uh, do the things that God commissioned us, that Christ commissioned us. And we don't have to pray about it. We don't have to seek and fast. Um, those are certain things that God tell us to do that we just have to do. And one of those things are feed the hungry. And the next morning, uh, where the next afternoon, Pastor uh, Paulette jumped on her live and was just talking about how she was impressed in her spirit about um, let's do a drive uh, for hunger in the Hampton Roads area. And that thing just jumped all over me um, when she spoke that. So well, God really placed it on our hearts to do a seven cities drive for hunger uh, task force to put together a task force. And what we're gonna do on August the 29th, that is going to be this upcoming Saturday, a week from today at, at one o'clock. Uh, we're going to come together. We're going to get in our cars. We're going to put posters on them. We're going to write scriptures on them, messages of love. Um, we're going to exemplify and express the love of Christ on that day. And we want you guys to come out with us. Uh, even if you just stay in your car and just take the ride with us. Uh, we're going to meet uh, in Portsmouth at the food line in London Bridge. We'll give you guys um, the address uh, there in the next few days. And then we're going to start off in Virginia Beach. And then we're going to go there, um, find some places to um, hand out the bags. Uh, the God has just been touching people on our behalf and things are just starting to come in. And people are starting to donate and give. And we're just excited uh, by what God is doing. So we'll start off in Virginia Beach and then we'll ride uh, the seven cities of Hampton Road giving out and blessing those that are in need. And not only are we gonna be blessing those are gonna be in need, but we're also gonna be spreading the gospel on, as we're riding down the road. So we're asking for, for a caravan of cars. We want 30, 40, 50 to just ride down the road uh, with these messages on there on our cars. And we're stopping by and we're being a blessing to those in the neighborhood. So we're excited about that. <clears throat> Listen, there is a GoFundMe page um, link in this live. It should be in the description. And listen, go there and donate. If you don't have, uh, you're not close to us, but you want to be a blessing, go there and donate. 100% of those proceeds are going to go towards feeding the hungry. And if you are in the area and you want to donate water, you want to donate um, lunchables. You want to donate little bags of chips or socks or hand sanitizer, mask, whatever it is. Uh, please leave a message in the comment mm -hmm. inbox. Um, Pastor Paulette put pastors on her uh, messenger and you can get together and you can figure out a way to go and donate that. Or if you just want to do uh, monetary donations, that'll be fine as well. We've been getting them coming in. And you can go on our Go, GoFundMe page and see how close we are to reaching our goal um, on for this event. So uh, I'm excited about it. Um, yeah. I'm excited to see what God is doing. I'm excited to see how He's moving. Uh, Pastor, I think Pastor Paulette has some uh, information that she wants to give to you guys and give you some updates. And then we'll we'll go on to some other things after Pastor Paulette. Good evening, everybody. Thank you for joining us. I'm praying that you are sharing this video and having a watch party because we really are excited. 
what I noticed about this year all by itself, it has been very challenging in a lot of areas and it has challenged the faith of people. And anything that challenges your faith, especially when it's our faith in God, if the challenge has been put before us, it's because we're able to overcome it. It's, that means it's time to grow your faith. And I just believe that even though we have been isolated in so many ways, we have found ways to be safe. The mask, the, you know, the um, hand sanitizer, the washing of our hands, the gloves, and we're going to be very safe while we're doing this. I, it was put on my spirit just by the Holy Spirit to reiterate, look, if you are holding back or you're just leery because you're not sure about your safety, I promise you, we are doing this and we're going to be safe. And even yes. more than even the things that we put on, the mask and the gloves, let me tell you something. This has been ordained by God and I promise he's covering us even now as we speak. And so mm -hmm. we just want you to come on and help. We have a lot of people that have called and, you know, to say that they're on board, they're helping, they're yes. buying things. And so just come on, continue to let that thing ring out and let you know, let's do what God has called us to do. So we, that's why we're coming on every night. We're excited about it. And we'd be more excited if you would just join us. Come on and be a part of something extraordinary. It's so extraordinary that it's already taken effect. And there's some people in Florida that are about to do the same thing. And yes. have you been on Facebook and you see all of these drive-by birthdays and these celebrations, aren't they exciting to see? Isn't it going to be amazing that we're going to start seeing this like this, the drive by, the drive for hungers everywhere? I feel it in my spirit. We're going to look up and it's going to be somewhere in North Carolina. It's going to be somewhere in California. We're going to start seeing people do this. It's an inspiration, y'all. And more than that, it shows that the people of God are still about our father's business, right? And so I'm excited. Look, I'm excited because the kingdom churches, I look, y'all thought I had forgot. I never forget to talk about my kingdom churches. It's something special. Come on and and go on Facebook and check out the kingdom churches page. And then go and then if you need prayer, and if you know somebody that need prayer, we have a 24-hour, seven-day-a-week prayer line at 888-327-7729. It's the Kingdom Throne Room. And look, download the Kingdom Purpose TV app. Download it today it so is. you can see some powerful speakers. I'm trying to tell you, if you didn't know about it, now you know about it. Look, download the app. Check it out. You can even go on demand. It'll take you right to where you need to go. You can find your favorite, which is everybody, speaker, and listen, and then spread the word, and then share it with somebody else so they can download. Come on, let's make this thing a household name. Why? Because when you download the Kingdom Purpose TV app, and you watch a powerful speaker, you're hearing the voice of God. Come on here. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that be something great to do? Download today. We love y'all. Come on, be a part of it. Inbox me, Pastors Howard and Paulette Carr, and tell me, yes, I want to be a part of it. And I'll tell you anything else you want to know. Um, anything you want to do specific, just come on, come on. Just reach out and out. We got, we got what, a week left from today? And we're going to uh, just be ready. And we love y'all. Be counted in this number. Come on and join me. Join, join, join. Mr. Matthew. Amen. Hey, well, grace and peace to everybody tonight. I tell you what, uh, I feel real good, Donna Shana Na, man. I tell you, I'm sitting here and I'm just uh, taking it all yes, in. Sir. You know, the Bible says that, you know, Jesus said that as long as we're here, um, we're going to have the poor. We're going to have folk that need help. We're going to have folk that need some uh, assistance. And, and, and we've been saying all this week, Jesus always met the need first. Um, so tonight, I just, I just want to share real quick, make sure you guys, uh, tag into the, this live. Go on the uh, the page, Pastor uh, Howard, uh, Pastor Paulette's page, and hit that GoFundMe. Listen, I, I want to encourage you tonight to sow into that, because when you sow into that, the Lord said Himself, "This is not me saying it, not Bishop or Pastor uh, uh, Paulette." He said, "I will repay," because He said, "You cannot outgive me," and we want to be a blessing. Praise God to um, to those you know that we encounter. People just need to witness and see that Jesus Christ still lives. 
and he and they will see that through the body of Christ. We we are literally spiritually organically a part of his head. He's the head, but we are the body. So we're gonna be rolling out, man, on August 29th, one o'clock from Portsmouth. Uh, there's a food line right here on the on London Boulevard. We'll be we'll be with that food line. On 1245, we're gonna leave from that place, man. We'll hit P-Town first. One of the GBs today head back west toward the peninsula. And we're gonna hit these areas, man, like a Holy Ghost gang. You hear me? God will do some great things in the people, in the lives of people. Because somebody right now tonight, you, you, you don't know, people going through suicide thoughts. They're going through issues, man. And when, when, when times like this hit you and you have no anchor for your soul, where can you go? So God's people, man, we're here tonight. We're going to we're gonna go forth, man, and just minister and love on people. The, the, the logistically, things are still the same. Um, but you, you see the list that's been put out. Just, just donate, uh, volunteer. Thank God for creative anointing. This, this is very creative. That you know, God is a God of creation, man. He, where else you gonna find a caravan of love like this? Man, Rolling man. out the street, man, and going down and ministering and preaching and giving out. And we will again. And he said, he said enough. We are following. I know something like a broken record. We are following CDC guidelines. We are a safe group of people that love God, man. and we care about other people to make sure we have on masks. And doing the right thing. So listen, listen. I'm gonna stop talking. Listen, share the hey, video. God bless you guys. Thank you so much. Um, once again, we are excited and looking forward for God moving in a special way. I I tell you, God is truly has been blessing us in this endeavor. We just want to do our part, and you can do your part. Every now and then, people you get an opportunity to connect with something that's moving in a special way. And right. this is your opportunity to connect. This is yeah. something where you don't have to be a pastor. You don't have to be a preacher. You don't have to be a minister. You can just be someone who loves God, or you could be someone who just want to feed the hungry. And yeah. we get an opportunity to minister. Listen, you get an opportunity to spread the gospel just by riding with us on that okay. Saturday. Just imagine that you're preaching the gospel when you're in that caravan, blowing that horn, having that car decorated with a scripture, with a message from Christ, with the love of God. That is the gospel being preached. That is someone reading the Bible while they're reading you. And so this is an awesome opportunity for you to connect. This is an awesome opportunity for you to yeah. be a part. And we're coming on every night. We don't be on long, but we come on every night to keep this in front of you, to let you know what progress we've made, we've made to let you know uh, how far we've come and how close we're getting to the date. It's coming up fast. It's already Saturday. We're seven days away for us going out and ministering. So we're asking all of you to really be a part, to really be a part. Like, like I say, there are some things uh, that people ask you to do that we've got to say, look, seek the Lord. You don't have to, I'm confident in telling you, you don't have to seek the Lord to go feed the hungry. That's your calling, that's in your mission. That's what he has called us to do. Yes. So be a part of that, be a part of that, be a part of what we're doing. And we would be remiss <laughs> if we did not ask if there was any Anybody who needed prayer on tonight. Yes. If anybody you needed prayer on tonight, you can put those in the comments. Uh, I can't, for some reason, I can't see comments, but Bishop Matthews and Pastor P can see the comments. Um, but so listen, put those in the comments if you got a special prayer request. Um, and every now and then, I begin to notice how people take prayer for granted. And what That's I right. mean by prayer for granted. It's, it's to the place now where we've asked for prayer for so much, for so long, so often, and nothing changes that that we don't even expect our prayers to be answered. Wow. Oh God. But let, let me explain. Not only do we not expect our prayers to be answered, but we don't expect the people who are praying for us to be able to get a prayer through. And, and the reason I say that because if 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 Jesus was was in this Facebook live right now, hey. he asked you, "Is there a prayer?" I, I bet you the keys wouldn't stop pounding. Now let me explain something to you. Whether you realize this or whether you know it or not, Jesus is on the live tonight. Yes, 
My God. I'm telling you what I know. I'm telling you what I know, not something that I'm guessing about. This is not some rhetoric to get you excited. I'm telling you, Jesus is on this live tonight. He said in his word, where well, two or three are gathered in my name, there shall I be in the midst. Listen, he's here tonight. I believe that with everything that is in me. And so when I ask you, uh, uh, to, to, if you have a prayer request, I'm not just doing it out of habit. I'm not just doing it because the, it's doing it. It sounds nice. I'm doing it because I believe that, that Jesus is here and he has given us the authority to speak to whatever's in your life. If God yeah. has given grace for it, then he's given us the authority to speak to it. So I believe that if you have something you need God to do for you, Put them in the comments. If you don't want to put them in the comments, then you can text us at 888-327-7729. 888-327-7729. If you're not comfortable texting it and you want to talk, call that number. Listen, we don't say that because we don't have anything else to do. We say it because we believe God is still using his children to perform yes. miracles. Yes. 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 Bishop, yes. do you believe that? My God, Bishop, you just opened. Oh my God, Abigail. Yes, Jesus. You know, I want to challenge people tonight. Uh, Bishop said something so, so key. Jesus is here. But what we need to do now is put a demand on that anointing that's on, on this live right now. There's, mm -hmm. an, there's a strong anointing on Pastor Paulette. There's a strong anointing on Bishop Vernon Matthews. There's a strong anointing on me right now. Put a demand. See, it's not about us. The anointing is in us and on us. Put a demand on that. You do that. You do that by sending your prayer requests. You do that by engaging this prayer line and begin to ask for prayer. When you do that, you are literally coming in contact and, and in connection with the power of God. You said it yeah. well. Jesus Christ is right now on this line. He lives in us right now. If you're born again, he lives in you. But guess what? When the glory in me connects with the glory in you, it's going to be an explosion. So I want you to put that prayer request down and um, put, a, put a demand on this man. Put a demand on this anointing. If you're sick, put a demand. If you're going through depression, put a demand. If you're having a hard time, getting, well, put a demand on this anointing tonight. And you're going to find yourself leaving this prayer line and living this set free. We're waiting for you. For a few more minutes. Come on, let's go. Bless, 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 bless. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. I, so listen, guys, I'm excited by what God is doing. I'm excited yeah. by where he's taking us. I'm excited by what God is doing uh, with the kingdom churches. You would have seen so much from us uh, before now in the Hampton Rose area. Mm -hmm. The pandemic hadn't hit. We had so many plans. Uh, but you know what? This is the best way to kick everything off. It's by helping other people. There is nothing else better than that. That gives me more joy than anything in the world is to be able to go yeah. and be a blessing to somebody else. So listen, we thank you tonight. Thank you. We, we implore you tonight to help us, pray for us. If you can't be there, man, be in yeah. prayer. Just be thinking about us. Yes. Be, just have your heart and minds on us in there. We'll be on here again tomorrow. Uh, talking about the same thing and, and 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 basically like bishop said put a demand on us put, put a, demand. a demand on us jesus is on the inside i know he's on the inside of the three of us i know for sure he on the inside of me and i'm telling you you anywhere in the scriptures they had to go to jesus and ask him and get what they wanted from him that's putting a demand my, my, my. That's putting a demand, putting a demand saying, even though I got an issue of blood, even though I am a, a cast out in the community, even though I shouldn't be in the atmosphere, I am going to press my way because I've said to myself, listen, if, if you can just say to yourself, if you can just say to yourself, man, I'm going to call. I'm telling you. I don't care what happened last time. The, the, the Bible says that she went to every doctor and did every not doctor. get well, but got worse. So that means that everything that she's tried didn't work. 
Listen, mm. I'm telling you, I don't care if somebody else prayed for you. I don't care if you call some other prayer line and it didn't work. I don't care if if you sold something. I don't care what didn't happen. I don't care if you tried it and you said, I don't care about all of that. Today is a new day. Now is a new time and your deliverance is here. My God. You, I believe that. I believe that. I believe that. And I know that there are certain things that I can call out, call in and call forth in your life because God has given us grace to do it. So we're on this, we're, we're on this life to talk about the drive for hunger, but no matter where Jesus went, no matter what he was doing, if there was a need, he would stop and put everything down and deal with the need. So if there's a need tonight, we want to be here for you. We are here for you. Even after we finish this live, we're yes. going to be here for you. Pastor Peter, you have anything you want to say before we close out? No, I just want to re well, just reiterate what you just said, what you guys just said. Look, it's a tap into this anointing, tap into this authority, this power, that the glory that dwells on the inside. It's for your, it's for you. It's for you, but you just gotta tap into it like they said. And I'm telling you, your life things, whatever it is that you need, whatever it is you've been waiting on, whatever it is that you believe in God. And if you're in a place where you're wavering in that faith, we can lead you to that place that you can ask God to help you with your unbelief. There's times you got to ask God to help you with what you're struggling to believe. He's there to help you with anything that you're going through, even when you're wavering in what you're believing him for. We, he can turn that thing around. If you have something you need God to do for you, put them in the comments. If you don't want to put them in the comments, then you can text us at 888-327-7729. 888-327-7729. If you're not comfortable texting and you want to talk, call that number. Listen, we don't say that because we don't have anything else to do. We say it because we believe God is still using his children to perform yes. miracles. Yes. 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 Bishop, yes. do you believe that? My God, Bishop, you just opened Oh my God, ever. Yes, Jesus. You know, I want to challenge people tonight. Uh, Bishop said something so, so key. Jesus is here. But what we need to do now is put a demand on that anointing that's on, on this live right now. There's, mm -hmm. an, there's a strong anointing on Pastor Paulette. There's a strong anointing on Bishop Vernon Matthews. There's a strong anointing on me right now. Put a demand. See, it's not about us. The anointing is in us and on us. Put a demand on that. You do that. You do that by sending your prayer requests. You do that by engaging this prayer line and begin to ask for prayer. When you do that, you are literally coming in contact and in connection with the power of God. You said it well. Jesus Christ is right now on this line. He lives in us right now. If you're born again, he lives in you. But guess what? When the glory in me connects with the glory in you, there's going to be an explosion. So I want you to put that prayer request down and um, put, a, put a demand on this man. Put a demand on this anointing. If you're sick, put a demand. If you're going through depression, put a demand. If you're having a hard time getting, well, put a demand on this anointing tonight. And you're going to find yourself leaving this prayer line, living this set free. We're waiting for you. For a few more minutes. Come on, let's go. Blessed, 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 blessed. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. I, so listen, guys, I'm excited by what God is doing. I'm excited yeah. by where he's taking us. I'm excited by what God is doing uh, with the kingdom churches. You would have seen so much from us uh, before now in the Hampton Rose area. Mm -hmm. The pandemic hadn't hit. We had so many plans. Uh, but you know what? This is the best way to kick everything off is by helping other people. There is nothing else better than that. That gives me more joy than anything in the world is to be able to go yeah. and be a blessing to somebody else. So listen, we thank you tonight. Thank you. We, we implore you tonight to help us, pray for us. If you can't be there, man, be in yeah. prayer. Just be thinking about us. Yes. Yeah. Just have your heart and minds on us in there. We'll be out here again tomorrow. Uh, talking about the same thing and, and 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 basically like bishop said put a demand on us put, put a demand on us jesus is on the inside i know he's on the inside of the three of us i know for sure he's on the inside of me 
And I'm telling you, you, anywhere in the scriptures, they had to go to Jesus and ask him and get what they wanted from him. That's putting a demand. My, my, my. That's putting a demand. Putting a demand saying, even though I got an issue of blood, even though I am a, a pass out in the community, even though I shouldn't be in the atmosphere, I am going to press my way because I've said to myself, listen, if, if you can just say to yourself, if you can just say to yourself, man, I'm gonna call. I'm telling you, I don't care what happened last time. The, the, the Bible says that she went to every doctor and did every not doctor. get well, but got worse. So that means that everything that she's tried didn't work. Listen, mm -hmm. I'm telling you, I don't care if somebody else prayed for you. I don't care if you call some other prayer line and it didn't work. I don't care if, if you sold something. I don't care what didn't happen. I don't care if you tried it and you said, I don't care about all of that. Today is a new day. Now is a new time and your deliverance is here. My God. I, I believe that. I believe that. I believe that. And I know that there are certain things that I can call out, call in and call for in your life because God has given us grace to do it. So we're on this, we're we're on this live to talk about the drive for hunger. But no matter where Jesus went, no matter what he was doing, if there was a need, he would stop and put everything down and deal with the need. So if there's a need tonight, we want to be here for you. We are here for you. Even after we finish this live, we're yes. going to be here for you. Pastor P, do you have anything you want to say before we close out? No, I just want to re well, just reiterate what you just said, what you guys just said. Look, it's a tap into this anointing, tap into this authority, this power, the, the glory that dwells on the inside. It's for your, it's for you, it's for you, but you just got to tap into it like they said. And I'm telling you, your life, things, whatever it is that you need, whatever it is you've been waiting on, whatever it is that you believe in God. And if you're in a place where you're wavering in that faith, we can lead you to that place that you can ask God to help you with your unbelief. There's times you got to ask God to help you with what you're struggling to believe. He's there to help you with anything that you're going through, even when you're wavering in what you're believing him for. We, he can turn that thing around. Tap, tap, tap in. I tell you, look, we are standing and believing bold because we know who God is and we know who he called us to be and we know what lives on the inside of us. So I'm telling y'all, call in, text in, or just tell us right now and we'll begin to touch and agree with you. Amen. Bless you, Bishop Amen. Matthew. Amen. Listen, this is a kingdom caravan event. We just, we just changed the game. This, kingdom this is a kingdom caravan coming in your direction. And we are excited about this thing, man. And I want to tell you something before we get off this live tonight. That there's nothing else more greater, nothing more, that Bishop said, nothing else more important than to seeing lives change. And we are, this is what the kingdom is all about. And so we're here for you. And tonight, somebody, you know, and this has been a, it's been a theme in my spirit um, in terms of God ministering people, that there's been such a depression floating in the atmosphere, such a, such a fearful atmosphere. But I want you to know we're here tonight and we are anointed to we are, we are anointed to clear the atmosphere. We are anointed to, to change the direction of the wind blowing in your life. We are we are anointed to speak to your environment. Come on, we, we're here like Ezekiel. We're gonna yeah. prophesy to the wind and to the to every dead bone in your life. Just put the man of the owner anointing, and tonight we release that thing in the precious name of Jesus, that the power of God will meet you at the point of your need, wherever you are, whoever you are. Uh, uh, for those of you who are sick, those of you, praise God, that's going through in your mind tonight, receive your joy, receive your deliverance, receive what God has for you, receive your peace in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Someone Amen. put God a prayer request, tonight. Jocelyn. Okay. Jocelyn wants prayer for strength for her job and her body. Mm -hmm. Bless, bless. Matthew's prayer. Well, we thank and praise you right now, God, for the faith this woman of God has to uh, tap into the, this live tonight. Tonight, we release an anointing. God, right now, we prophesy that when she reached out for the prayer request, it's at that point that the power of God has met her need. 
the dear God, the, the, her body is right now being strengthened. And God, she's getting prophetic insight into her job and that she's only one perspective away on how to do things different on her job to her advantage. And right now we pray for strength in her body. We can be praying for all the angels that's ministering to her. Even right now, we thank you for it. Be released right now in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And while you were praying, I just heard the Spirit of the Lord say this, Jocelyn. That one person is one person. It's one person that's that's really giving you this issue that you're having. Listen, God says, speak life to that situation, to that person in general. Speak life to that person in general. And God says he's going to change it around. He's he, he, He's doing it anyway. As he, as he was praying, I was hearing God saying that. Speak life, speak life, speak life. Don't wow. allow that situation to change your conversation. Don't allow it to change you. Don't allow it How about to, 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 to get you off of what you're supposed to be. And he says, if you would speak life to that, but in other words, what I mean, let me, because I, I still hear the, hear the Holy Spirit talking. He is saying, speak blessings. When I say speak life, speak blessings, speak blessings, yes. speak yes. blessings, positive, all positive things, all positive things. And God says, what you speak in their life will then be in your life. Woo! What you speak in their life will be in your life. I hear God saying that, that clearly, okay? Um, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. God, oh. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you for that. Um, listen, God God, God moves, God moves in mighty ways. God moves in mighty ways. Yes, and, yes, and, and God knows what he's doing. God is, is operating. And y'all, we are excited by what you're doing. We're going to be on tomorrow night. And someone... Uh, when you come on tomorrow, we're going to tell you what we're going to be doing, and then we're going to have prayer. And and come tomorrow expecting. I don't know what you're going through, but I hear God saying He's going to speak into your life. I hear God saying there's going to be prophecy. I don't. I, I'm speaking now, y'all. I don't know. We haven't talked about this, so God bless y'all for this. Uh, but I hear God saying prophecy. I hear God saying, saying words of wisdom, uh, a word of knowledge. I I hear Him saying that. Um, strong in my spirit right now. So guys, listen, um, I'm going to really be seeking the Lord all day tomorrow. I'm going to be seeking him all day tomorrow because I hear God uh, clearly saying that. So listen, guys, tomorrow night, we'll, we'll see you on here. Donate, y'all. Give. If you can't give, if you got water you want to donate or a case of water or whatever you want to give, uh, please inbox Pastor Paulette and let her know and y'all get together. And if yes. there's something you just want to give for this thing, then go on, go find me. The link is in the description. It is in the title. And you can give and be a blessing to this. God bless you guys so much. We will see you again on tomorrow night. And God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. And God bless you. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night.